Almost two years now since Rochester police officer Denny Wright was attacked while responding to a call on Peck Street. He was left blind, even after recovering from severe injuries to his face and head. Today, he was presented two of the highest honors in public safety, the Medal of Valor and Purple Heart Award. Eriketa Koss has more. I am forever grateful for the officers, the civilians, and the hospital staff that saved my life. Officer Denny Wright says there's no bitterness or resentment looking back on that day. It's because he would get back in the streets and even answer that call one more time if he had the chance. He loves the job and protecting the community that much. A bad person did a bad thing to me. They can't speak for the 25 years I've been working for this police department. Interim Police Chief Harriet Sullivan says she's seen the body camera footage from that day and calls it disturbing. But what touches her immensely is the actions of those responding officers who arrived as backup. I mean, how do you spell out somebody being a hero? You know, I, I just... You know, I can't even put it into words. All were recognized today, along with everyday civilians like Lydell Washington. He was next door when the incident unfolded. Officers say he was able to de-escalate the situation by talking to the suspect, calming him down. So I just needed to get in there and do something. After two years of life getting in the way, a global pandemic, and Washington even having a granddaughter. The two finally met today, shaking each other's hands. I'm just glad to see him here with his family, of course. It's beautiful to see him. It was an exceptional act of courage for them to step into that house, not knowing what may or may not happen to them. Reporting, Eric Cost, News 8. Oh, Eric thank you. Officer Wright continues to be an inspiration. Coming up next.